In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello there, and welcome. Today is Friday, the 18th of June, 2021. You are listening to Catholic Meditation, broadcasting over Radio Evangelium of the Diocese of Kumba, Cameroon. I am your priest and servant at the anchor, Reverend Father Blessed Amba Njume. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 18 and verses 21 to 30. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 34. The response to the psalm is, The Lord rescues them in all their distress. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 to 23. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The eye is the lamp of the body, So if your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is not sound, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For today's meditation is make heaven your treasure make heaven your treasure beloved of God there is always a relationship between one's heart and what one holds very dear call it 
a treasure. What you hold dear, what you treasure, your heart is always thoughtful about it. No one has his heart over what is of no importance to them. The same is true of our friends. That one you love and treasure, you are thoughtful of them always. Be it your money, a gadget, your car, or jewelry, if you treasure them, your heart is always, always, always on them. To prove it, if something bad happens to that one or that thing that you treasure, you can go sleepless for days or even months. You could fall sick and some even die. That is because your heart has been touched. To touch your treasure is to touch your heart. So it could be rightly said that one's treasure is one's heart. Touch their treasure and they are dead because you would have touched their heart. So Jesus is right to say, where your treasure is, there also your heart will be. Because you have a treasure, you guard it. No one wants to lose a treasure. You keep it nicely and jealously because you know what it means to you. You know its worth, its value. You never want to lose it. Now the questions are, what do you treasure? And where do you guard that treasure? This is what Jesus explains in the gospel of today. He provides answers to these questions. If you want to know what to treasure and how to guard it, read the gospel again quietly and listen to Jesus' words. Most of us, beloved, treasure passing things. There is none of us who can claim that he has no treasure. But unfortunately, we treasure rather the things that pass away. That a man will place his entire heart over his wealth and can die because he lost his wealth? Wow! Jesus is not offended. But his worry is, if this is how much we can treasure things on earth, things that pass away and place our hearts on them, things that moth and rust consume, things that thieves steal away from us in a few minutes what we painstakingly took years to build. Why not use that same spirit and rather treasure something or someone that can never be taken away from you? That thing to treasure is heaven. Beloved, no one can take away or steal heaven away from you. No one can take God away from you. They will take away your wealth. They will take away your cars. They will take away your houses. They will take away your money. Yes, they may even take away the friends you treasured. But no one, no one can take your Jesus and your heaven away from you. So then, Jesus' advice is, make heaven your treasure and place your heart on it. It is a wise investment that will not fail you. Dearly beloved of God, if you think heaven every day and place your heart in it, you will guard it by doing all what it takes to get there. What do we do or what do we need to make in order to ensure that heaven is our treasure? Why do we make heaven our treasure? One, it is because there is security in heaven. In heaven, beloved, nobody can steal what you keep up there. Second, it is for eternity. It lasts. Psalm 49 verse 16 says, Do not be afraid when a man grows rich. His glory does not follow him when he dies. All these things we amass do not accompany us, but in heaven they last forever. That is why we should make heaven our treasure, because there is security and there is eternity. Second, how do we keep treasures in heaven? One, it is in providing assistance to others. Dear friends, when you assist others, you keep treasure in heaven. Cameroon Hymnal, number 207, 
titled Hark the Voice of Jesus Crying, verse 5 says, And it may be that these little ones whom you would have led with trembling hands will be found among your jewels when you reach the better land. That means, whomever you assist and provide help to are jewels that you keep in heaven, and that is your treasure. Second, it is in helping the poor. When we help the poor, beloved, we keep treasure in heaven. Remember in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 21, Jesus said to the rich young man, Go, sell all you have, give the money to the poor, and you will find treasure in heaven. So if you refuse to help the poor, you keep no treasure in heaven. Third, it is in loving. When we love, beloved, we keep treasure in heaven. Jesus told a parable and said to the people, When you would have done all this, and at the end when you would have died, the master will say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Come into the inheritance that has been kept for you. For when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was a stranger and homeless, you welcomed me. When I was sick or imprisoned, you visited me. So dear friends, you see, all these are treasures that we keep in heaven. So ask yourself, how much treasure do you have in heaven? How much good deeds have you done that will merit you, your treasures in heaven? Kiara Lubick of the Focolari Movement teaches that whatever act of love we do, we send a flower to Mary. As it were, we send material to heaven for a house to be built for us. Ask yourself, how much material have you sent to heaven for that house that will be constructed for you? Have you sent wood or have you sent blocks, bricks made of cement? Or perhaps you have just ended by sending sand. What kind of structure have you sent up in heaven to be built for you? And it depends on the good deeds. Let us pray, therefore, that we may store up treasure in heaven, that we may always look to heaven and place our hearts in it, because, dear friends, there is security and there is eternity. Oh, dear Lord, that we may place our hearts in heaven, we may place our hearts in doing good, for that is the treasure that we place in heaven. No one will take away from us, no thief, no rust will corrode. And when we place our treasures in heaven, we will always be happy with you for all eternity. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>